Hello and hey, this is Zero Broken Reviews, and have you ever, uh, ever want to be ridiculed, publicly shamed, and beaten mercilessly? Well then, I- What the fuck is wrong with you? Anyway, we're looking at the Figma Darkness today. Darkness. That is a, uh, that's a pretty shit name. But impressively, her actual name is somehow worse. Dustiness Ford Lalatina. I don't know how they made a name worse than Darkness, but they fucking did it. Anyway, now I can finally talk about my favorite isekai, Dunbine. Okay, we're not talking about Dunbine. Konosuba is, uh, it's like a D&D &D session, except for all the players or player characters are mentally retarded. It's about as entertaining as it sounds, which if you are watching this video, then it probably sounds pretty damn entertaining. Oh, a uh, box look like box. Wow. As a uh, parody, the, the design is intentionally generic. Konosuba was originally animated by Studio Dean. They're rather infamous for shitty animation. The original artwork for the light novels is, uh, well illustrated, but do feel like a rather generic light novel affair. Also, while looking through these, I found that apparently Aqua wears stripes. To say I'm disappointed would be an understatement. To be clear here, the word I'm disappointed in isn't stripes, it's Wears. Anyway, I would say that the anime designs actually elevate the feel of the show, and I doubt that the series would be anywhere as popular as it is without it. Of course, this isn't based on the anime. Obviously, as you can probably very easily tell, this is based on the movie. Either way, I think that Figma did decent on this. Like the other Kanasuba Figmas, this has uh, significantly less issues. None of this bullshit. Some problems which are not very big problems would be the paint isn't super clean, and I don't really understand this clear part here. I also do think the summer some Figma face a bit, but not enough for it to be an issue. So I'll give it a 7 out of 10 for looks because why the hell not? Articulation is standard Figma stuff. Cue the music. D-bang, remove, tab, rebang. There be all them face you get. As I said, I do think this suffers from Figma face a bit. If you don't know what I'm talking about, some Figma faces look strangely uh, generic for reasons. I could theorize, but I'm not quite sure why. Also, there is a good smell online shop exclusive faceplate, but it doesn't look stupid, so I don't want it. Apparently just taping these parts to the back is just a thing now. I can't really say I feel too negatively about that, but I do find it a bit off-putting. Just tab them in. Very standard, nothing worth mentioning. A pretty standard arming sword. Uh, the blade is missing a fuller to reduce the weight. But this doesn't need to be realistic, so shut the fuck up. Remove the pommel, and slide it into the weapon-holding hands. Because the sword can't fit into the scabbard, you got one of these. With how small the figure is, I can forgive it. It's better than either a strangely thick scabbard or a brittle one. This is actually something that I was expecting to be really annoying with the track record for Kanasuba Figmas, but it's surprisingly very straightforward and easy to replace these torso and the arms. Future Goken here. If you are one of those people that are wondering why there wasn't any moaning in the parts where I take her apart, it's because, well, I understand that she's a masochist, but I don't really know if she'd enjoy that. I know that might also be a bit uncomfortable for some people to watch as well. Well, the biggest part of it is that, while it isn't beyond me to do that, I just don't think it's funny. Oh! It's a hero! Is that a... Is that a fucking Gundam reference? There. I did it. You happy I validated you? You might not be because I intentionally said hero instead of haro to annoy a people. Anyway, you can tab this into this, which attaches to that. Did I mention this is based on the movie? The famous movie scene with the flying cabbage things. I'm sorry, that's a spoiler, isn't it? Please have it in your heart to forgive such a slight on my part, since that definitely happened in the movie. Of course it did, because if it didn't, it wouldn't be in this movie-inspired figure, right? The fact that this is based on the movie isn't some kind of uh, contrived, arbitrary uh, marketing thing, right? I don't know why this bothers me. <sighs> Figma stand.
the dream of every sub girl. Mazinger. I don't have all the Konosuba Figmas, but I do have Aqua and Kazuma. Overall, it's probably the best of the Konosuba Figmas I've gotten, so if you want something like this, and don't mind the price of more recent Figmas, I can definitely recommend it. Otherwise, uh, no. Either way, thank you for watching. If you want to, you can like, comment, and if you like this type of content, consider subscribing. I have a, a Twitter now if you want to follow that. For more one of this, is check the links on the screen, and I'll see y'all next time. Oh, I'm fucking coming.